walking a very familiar path today I'm um, just on a short day hike uh, nothing too adventurous just a means of getting out of the house and just trying to burn off some of the uh, Christmas calories that being said have a look at that that being said um, You know, I drank a nice cup of coffee on the way out here. That must have been about 4,000 calories. So I put plenty of sugar in it. And, uh, you know, and I've got some more coffee in my bag, which I'm gonna stop at my favorite brew stop and uh, enjoy a nice outdoor woodland cup of coffee. I wanna be careful. This ground is really, really slippery. It's been typical British weather last few days in fact this is probably the only sunshine we're gonna see all year now regular viewers will recognize this hill um, the hill of doom the hill of doom now I've got my carbon fiber walking poles with me but they're lashed up to my bag and I want to try and leave them there as long as I can because hopefully I can master I can master the hill of doom myself if it starts to get too slippery then uh, I'll have to rethink but hopefully I can uh, just make it I don't know where Melv is today well, either of the Melves, actually. I know that Melves out with his drone somewhere. I don't know where. And the other Melvin is probably going to work. I've not got a normal mug this morning. I was walking out here and I was drinking the coffee from my, uh, my what's it called? My Thermo Cafe by Thermos mug thingy. And I was drinking coffee at that. I made a cup of coffee at home. And I was walking out here and then I realised, I thought, oh, I didn't bring a mug with me, did I? So, I then had to improvise and I thought, well, it took me a couple of seconds, but I eventually caught on. And, uh, and I realised, oh, I've got a mug in my pocket. It just happens to be a thermos insulated mug. So my coffee will stay warmer for longer. Which is why I left the lid off. Because what I think I might do is my little setup there, my bag on the right. Uh, I've brought my my Calagas stove today um, simply because I've got more gas for the Calagas stove than I have for the Inferno stove that Melv bought me. So there's no slight against the uh, the super duper Inferno stove, apart from the fact that um, I've hardly got any gas. So until I get some more, I'll have to go back to the old Calagas Calagas camping gas. Blue air stove. So I've got my phone just charging there, just topping the battery up with my my little power bank, which I had to take apart. Uh, it's a good power bank, and good reliability. My Urban Revolt, but that little button there, the inside, inside is a little fixing that attaches it, and uh, and it broke. So I've had to take it apart, glue the button back in place, and then tape it up because the little clip broke. Now, while I'm here, uh, I've been sort of mooching around, and I've just seen, just poking out, this little teeny tiny mushroom. Now, I'm not going to touch it, I'm not going to eat it, but your mushrooms are the, the woodland recyclers. All the, um, all the decaying dead leaves, and the mulch and what have you. Uh, the um, mushrooms, they recycle it. And that's, that's what they're for. Now here you've got uh, this other type of fungus, Queen Anne's tits, or King Alfred's cakes as they're more commonly known. And they're good for holding a spark. Now I've actually tried this. Now what you have to do is you get one of your little King Alfred's cakes and you have to dry them out a little bit. You have to let them dry because they're quite moist. They hold a lot of moisture. 
let them dry and then they'll hold a spark or an ember um, or an ember now, as you can see I've got the whole Yeti look going on I should have had a shave but couldn't be asked um, I need a haircut I've got to have a haircut this week before I go back to work hopefully um, it's a case of getting down there though isn't it it's just a case of actually doing it so you know sort of going down there finding a place to park walking around the corner going in talking to the bloke telling him what I want I try not to have a conversation if I can help it all I want is a haircut that makes me sound incredibly grouchy but you know I don't care about sport I don't care about golf cricket football rugby tennis whatever whatever sport happens to be playing at the time not interested um, and a lot of barbers what they tend to do is they just witter on about sport and stuff where you going on holiday oh, shut up mate shut up just cut me here let me go and that does make me sound incredibly grouchy I know it does but I don't care really so I wasn't going to come out today I started off I started off with this plan of of sort of going out and then when I got up this morning I was quite tired and I thought mm, I don't know and then I just sat around and fell asleep again and then I was I thought no I'm going I'm going get out the door go do it and here I am so so yeah so I've done uh, done a little bit of blogging done a little bit of blogging there blogged some pictures uh, if you care enough and you're interested uh, get yourself to brightgrills.blogspot.com and that's where those pictures will be along with various other thoughts and insights that I happen to I happen to find interesting brightgrills.blogspot.com have a look so, see the old grey starting to come through the old barnet crikey I'll hold the camera further away you won't be able to see it well it's nearly time for me to to move off I've packed up all my kit just got my coffee mug out my thermos mug and um, it's just coming up for that time you can see all the grass shoots coming up all coming up now they start to spring up and uh, it's quite remarkable really the way that the forest continually regenerates itself if it's left alone it is quite quite pleasing quite pleasing to see So yeah, I've been here a little while. I've been here a little while now, and um, I'm just going to make my way back. I didn't intend, never intended to be out here all day long anyway. It was just, just enough to just get me outside, and um, just basically my first hike of uh, 2017. What's going on in here then? Maybe something lives in there. Hmm. You never know. You never know. So, so yeah. So I'm going to go a different way back to the car. I'm not going to cover the same ground twice because that would just be boring. And uh, I'm going to take some... It's a nice sunny day. What I think I might do is I might go out of here to the path. Turn right and just loop around that way. Because I don't, I don't want to go rupturing my spleen or anything. Do you know what I mean? I just want to, um, I just want a, a gentle stroll and uh, sip of my coffee, my Nescafe three-in-one coffee, and uh, just have a gentle, a gentle stroll. I'm looking for that mushroom again. Gone. Don't know where it's gone. Um, oh, there's another little one just there. I'm not gonna zoom in though. Oh, here it is. Right under my nose. He looks like a fun guy. Uh, anyway, 
Right, that's that. I'm going to get my backpack back on and uh, think about moving off. One thing I do find particularly interesting is if you look at this this trail where I've just walked down, just walked down the hill, you can see you can see this area where it's still damp, where it's been shielded from the sun by these trees and foliage. And if you walk further down, just a few feet, a couple of meters, it's dry, where the sun has has broken through and has dried out all the uh, dried out the ground. Now it's quite warm for the time of year. It is actually quite warm. What I'm going to do is quickly get my phone and I'm going to have a look and see what the weather says. Because um, I've got H plus on my on my network now uh, 26 minutes ago oh it's five degrees so uh, celsius i suppose five celsius so it's quite warm for the time of the year so but you can see you can see it goes nice and dry and then you just get up into that shady area and it and it dries and it and it is it doesn't dry out yet the sun's going to have to go around a few more degrees um, for that to happen. So, uh, yeah. So I'm only on a short day hike today. Nothing, uh, nothing drastic. Not mega mileage today. Just something to so I can stretch my legs and uh, and not waste a perfectly sunny day. Do you know what? I was feeling so ratty earlier. I really was when I was indoors and I wasn't going to come out. Really wasn't. I was going to stay indoors, and then it would have been playing on the PC. It would have been a bit of Facebook, watching stuff on YouTube, probably a bit of Championship Manager, and uh, stuff like that. And then I would have hated myself, and I would have had to have probably started self-harming. If I'm honest, I would have had to have gone to the kitchen, found a plastic fork, you know, one of them cheap, nasty white plastic forks, and I would have had to have started. Uh, hurting myself but um but here we are I don't know what's up in here I think I've been up in here with Matt before I'm not sure though but as usual we've got the same old it's the same old rubbish from the same old rubbish I mean how does an air box from an engine car engine get here oh, hang on I went the wrong way there it's an air filter box isn't it off an engine how does that even get out here? Who, who picks up an air box and thinks, oh no, I'll go dump that out in the woods. And we've got the usual sad, sad thing. More rubbish out. I mean, who brings this rubbish out? Who thinks that a plant pot is a good idea to dump in the woods? They don't need plant pots out in the woods. If ever there was a place that doesn't need plant pots, it's the woods. But, but what do I know? But what do I know? Um, so there it is. I'm not really sure where I'm going at the moment. I'm just uh, just strolling along. Just strolling along. Okay, so bit of a bit of a strange video today. I've done some social media and stuff, and blogs, blog posts. Took some pictures. Just did a, a live feed, my first ever live feed to Twitter. And that was at Bry Grills. So that was that was quality. So I had people interacting, joining. It's good. It's good fun. Never done it before. And uh oh. so I spoke to Mel. That was good. I spoke to my daughter just now on the phone, that's good. Uh, yeah, so I'm just making my way back to the car. And uh I don't know, about two and a half miles, I think. Nothing nothing drastic, nothing to go mad over, but it's been good enough just to get out, take my time, and enjoy myself. So, on that happy note, I'll leave it there. And uh, thank you for joining me on my first hike of 2017. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>